South Maui is one of the top two areas to stay in when you're here on the island of Maui. South Maui also has a couple of really great beaches as well as good retail shops and restaurants to eat at. In this episode, we're gonna take you to a couple of our favorites in South Maui. I'll be staying in Kihei, which is in South Maui and it's directly above Wailea and Kihei is known for being a little bit more inexpensive. It's got a whole bunch of condo complexes. We are staying at the Aston Maui Banyan and uh, there should be a lot of shops and uh, stores near here that are within walking distance. In addition, we are across the street from Cam 2 Beach and we're gonna take a little bit of a walk right now and just check it out. Kameoli Beach Park is the main beach stretch for Kihei. It's comprised of a set of three beaches, King Kameoli 1, King Kameoli 2, and King Kameoli 3, or shortened to Cam 1, 2, and 3. Cam 2 is a nice swimming beach, and its intimate size and smaller swells make it a great place for families. On the other side of the southern rocky outcropping is Cam 3. This is the largest and most popular of the three beaches, but it's also pretty rocky. On the walk back from Cam 3, we caught these guys taking down their hula hula chicken stall. Lucky break, as they're only here once a week. Aloha. Aloha, what's hula hula chicken? Hula in Hawaiian just means flip. And what makes our hula hula chicken unique from everybody else, it's our family secret sauce. It's very highly addictive, we call it the comeback sauce. Mm. <laughs> so if you haven't had a chicken, come on down. You get hooked. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> this is the Huli Huli chicken I just got. Oh my God, if you could be here to smell it, it smells fantastic. So they literally just pulled it off of those big half barrel grills that they were barbecuing all of these on. And the best part, I was talking to this guy, all the proceeds from this chicken are going towards a uh, free and lawful Hawaiian government. And we're gonna save this and eat it when we go to uh, McKenna Beach tomorrow. We're having dinner here at The Kitchen in Kihei, and this is their original location, which was opened up in 1998. They are very famous for their plate lunches, as well as other traditional Hawaiian cuisine. They uh, actually cooked for Obama's inaugural luau in Washington, D.C., and they've been featured in a lot of travel publications. For appetizers, we ordered their signature fried Spam Masubi, best eaten hot. We also got the fried noodles done Chinese style with veggies and beef. Another Hawaiian classic is the Simon with fresh noodles, cha sao pork, naturomaki and veggies. Finally, we got the tempura fried fish and chips. So this is the fish and chips. They are using mahi-mahi fish in this and this looks like a really crisp tempura batter. You can feel it's really, really crisp. Look at that, look at the fish inside. It's really good. Mmm. Crunches when you bite into it. The fish is so fresh, there's no fishiness or oiliness to it at all. Really good. This is definitely a dish you have to get here. The servings here are huge, and there's no way that you're gonna finish everything. So take a look at this. This is our leftovers that we're gonna take home and have for breakfast tomorrow morning. For shoreside snorkeling, one of the top destinations is a Hihikino Reserve on the southern tip of Maui. It's a former lava field and quite rocky, so best to wear dive shoes on the shore and into the water. The conservation efforts here maintain a good variety of sea life and longevity of the coral, but it also means strict rules. No chemical sunblocks and don't step on the coral. Swimming six to seven feet out, there's already a ton of marine life to observe. We saw huge schools of perch, butterfly fish, surgeon fish, yellow tang, hermit crabs, and a big parrot fish. This is also home to several protected species, including Hawaiian monk seals, hawksbill turtles, 
green turtles, spinner dolphins, and humpback whales, although we didn't see any on our trip. The water is fairly calm, so overall it's a good place for snorkeling novices. Up the road from Mahihi is McKenna State Park, one of the best local beaches in the south side. After a light fish taco lunch, we trekked in. This is a huge beach that backs up onto a forest of which the north end is the Pu'u'alai cinder cone that you can hike up for great views of Kihei. The trees offer great shade for hanging out. The big waves and surf here are rougher than at most beaches and there are plenty of warning signs about dangerous shore breaks. However, this does mean top-notch skimboarding and bodyboarding. Just prepare to get pounded and don't go in the water if you're not a strong swimmer. We're here tonight for the Te Ao Moana Luau at the Marriott in Waialea. Luau's are probably the most touristy thing to do when in Hawaii, but you must experience it at least once. Most of the major hotels host one on a daily basis. In addition to the food and show, there are often educational Polynesian exhibitions of craftsmanship, lay making, tattooing, and hula dancing. Here's the roast pig, and they're gonna take that out of the oven. This is also a great place to come to sample traditional Hawaiian cuisine. We have a salmon lomi lomi here, a taro roll, same thing. Poi, no, I thought, I thought poi. and chicken. Video bomb. Edamame fried rice. And we've got a soba noodle right here, salad with some mac and some Hawaiian potatoes right here. We weren't allowed to take video of the show, but suffice to say the dancing was spectacular. And it was a good way to learn a bit about Polynesian culture and history. It was a fun end to this portion of our vacation. We had a great time in South Maui, and this is a perfect area to stay in if you want that relaxed, luxury, by the beach vacation experience. If you like the places that we showed on this video, give us a big thumbs up. Till next time, peace out, Geeksters.